Armenia and Azerbaijan, two neighboring countries, are fighting again. For decades, the two countries have been at the center of conflict over the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Both sides were engaged in an armed territorial conflict in 2020 until a truce was mediated by Russia. Now, the conflict has started again with both sides engaging in the worst clashes since 2020. The latest reports say nearly 100 troops have lost their lives in the deadliest violence. Both countries blame each other for the flare-up and world powers have urged a ceasefire. So why are they fighting and how long has it been going on for? Nagorno-Karabakh is a mountainous region between Armenia and Azerbaijan. It lies entirely within the Azerbaijan borders and is internationally recognized as part of the country. But it is occupied primarily by the ethnic Armenian population and controlled by their forces. About 1,50,000 people live here. In 1991, the region declared independence and since then it has ruled itself with Armenian support as the unrecognized Republic of Artsakh. Then, a full-scale war erupted in 1992 and finally ended in a ceasefire in 1994, with Armenia being in control of Nagorno-Karabakh and nearly 10% of Azerbaijan's territory. Despite signs of progress towards peace, fierce fighting erupted again in September 2020 and killed more than 6,600 people and ended with a peace deal brokered by Russia. Moscow deployed about 2,000 troops to the region to serve as peacekeepers. But now, the region has become a war zone again. Armenia says Azerbaijan attacked first. They say Azerbaijani forces launched intensive shelling with artillery and large-caliber firearms against Armenian military positions in the directions of the cities of Goris, Soth and Jermuk. Meanwhile, Azerbaijan says Armenia has been shelling Azerbaijani military positions for a few weeks now and that has intensified over the last few days. Azerbaijan's deputy foreign minister has said that Armenia has started amassing heavy weaponry and armaments along the deemed border between Armenia and Azerbaijan. The world leaders have expressed concerns and urged to stop the fighting between the two countries.